So how can you prevent a cylinder failure on a modern engine or a DD15? First, we're gonna talk about where the failures happen and how it happens. So Detroit has designed a water manifold that bolts directly on the side of the cylinder head. Now this manifold is designed to be able to cool off the exhaust side of the cylinder. Now, this, there's a problem with this particular setup because coolant flows in the head from the upper and then lower. So when, and they added this where the coolant actually is coming out. But as you can see, if coolant is being fed through the front of the head and the opening is here, instead of the opening being all the way down, you would think it would give you more coolant even flow. A lot of times the failures are gonna happen between five and six because they're the last cylinders to receive the coolant. Now, another thing is temperature. Temperature is not really being monitored, but only at the, at the outlet side of the cylinder head. So it's not being ridden, it's not being, uh, ridden back here. So the cylinder temperature back here can be a lot higher. This manifold does help, but I don't know, they should have went with a larger manifold that went all the way across. And maybe later, you're probably gonna see in later engines is they're gonna put another manifold on the intake side to help cool it even more.